Hello. Today we are going to see the second part of JDBC request. I am going to add a response assertion to the JDBC request and we will see uh, how to check things in your response that is the SQL query results that you get. Now here uh, I have added a response assertion to my JDBC request. My JDBC request is selecting star from users. We already saw in uh, the first session for JDBC request that I am using the DB for free database and on that I have set up a, my own database automation geek DB and in that I have a users table in which there are two entries one is for K bill and one is for uh, another guy. So K bill uh, is in the second row. So let's see just uh, we will run this without the assertion and we will see our results. So I am just putting a simple response assertion over here text response contains K bill. It has started running. Okay, it finished uh, its execution and it has passed. Since we have K bill in the uh, response, it has passed. But just verifying K bill in the response is not uh, proper, right? We need to verify whether K bill is in the second row and first column. So, what do we need to do for that? We need to go to response assertion and here we need to change one thing. But before that, we have to add parameters to our JDBC request. So, how do you do that? We have to go to JDBC request and there you see parameters here. So let me, okay, okay, I will just minimize this window because it's not visible on the screen. So uh, this is my JDBC request and I go down and I have added, since we are extracting four variables. I have added uh, variable names as a1, a2, a3, a4. So the first uh, value, first result set value will get loaded into a1, the second result set into a2, the third result set value, column value will get added to a3 and the fourth one will get added to a4. Similarly, we have in the response assertion a j meter variable where you can set instead of verifying for the main sample, the whole sample, we just put a j meter variable over here and put a1 since we have k bill in the first column a1 corresponds to the first column in the result set so we put a1 here okay so this will verify whether it is appearing in the first column it is not verifying the row over here keep in mind a1 just gives the column number okay let's run the result let's clear the result first and let's run it still running yeah it has failed Let's see why it has failed. It should have passed. It, is a, it has failed. Okay. The response was null. Let's see what mistake we have done. A1, A2, A3, A4. Test underscore number. In the response assertion, we have put A1 and contains. The reason for uh, our failure was that we were giving A1. The thing is we need to give A1 and the column number and the row number in, uh, in the same thing. So just go to response assertion, go to JMeter variable instead of giving just A1, give it as A1 
underscore two. So a one indicates the column number and two indicates the row number. It should have ex ex uh, accepted just a one, but looks like there is some issue with J meter three because of which it is not accepting a one, just a one. And it uh, now we need to specify the row number and column number together. The column number followed by underscore and then the row number. So let's see whether our uh, uh, assertion passes. running it has passed so let's verify the response data that we are getting okay we are getting the correct response and it is coming in the second column the first uh, second uh, row and the first column so this is how you verify the response assertion let's try putting something different over here in the let's try putting kill bill one okay and let's try running our test so now the assertion results and the response data should provide us the correct error that is happening okay it has failed as per expectations let's go to the response assertion and what does it say variable a1 underscore 2 expected to contain k bill 1 instead of k bill 1 it was k bill on the actual response so that's the reason it failed so this is how you verify contents of your sql results in a response assertion for a JDBC request. In addition to this, we can also provide variable fields like you can have just A1 over here or if you want to have the, uh, want to check the contents of the first, uh, first and fourth column, then you can just put spaces in first in the second and third column like this. You need to have commas in between A1 and a4 you just remove the variable names this this is the way you can verify the first and the last uh, column in your sql result so that's about it for uh, jdbc request and assertions and thank you very much for watching this video do subscribe and keep watching